Hello, my name's Carol Baker. Today we're going to look at flank stretch, this being your flank. So brilliant for stretching your hamstrings, also a good stretch for the calf, and very good at releasing a tight lower back and strengthening the core, often indicated in scoliosis and other back conditions. So start with your feet hip distance apart, and that's the bones of your hips, not any padding on the outside. Step forward with your right leg, make sure that foot's straight. If you instantly feel you're losing your balance, step a little bit wider and tuck your back heel in so it looks like a tent peg going into the ground at an angle. Keeping the hips forward, you're aiming to keep this right leg straight. As you inhale, you're lengthening from the heels to the top of the head. As you exhale, relaxing the shoulders, tucking the tailbone under a little and pulling in the core. Next inhale, always to lengthen. Exhale, we're going to come forward. So think ironing board with your back. If you're unable to go any further without your back rounding, then bend your knee. So you end up with a lovely straight back. Now for me as a beginner, I really couldn't get much further than that. So hamstrings here have got to release. Back calf has got to stretch. Hips are going back, don't let them twist. Head is lengthening forward. And eventually I'll allow myself to come a little deeper, starting to straighten this right leg and hopefully get my fingertips or my hands to come down towards the floor. So if I want to work with my breath to extend a little bit more, I'm going to come onto my fingertips, adjust my feet a little further apart, take a deep inhale to lengthen, don't let my hips twist, exhale, lay my right ribcage down towards my thigh, draw my navel back and let my head completely release. And again, I can inhale, adjust again, Go for a little bit more length through my spine, no twist in those hips. Exhale a bit deeper and soften it even more so I can really feel the stretch through the back leg here and through the calf on the other one. One more of these, lengthening. Always making those little micro adjustments, keeping softness. Exhale, folding down. Other variations of this pose, you can take the hands away, link the fingers together. Opening up into the shoulders now and bringing the head down and the arms coming over. You can work into reverse namaste here, fingertips, heels of hands, thumbs, and that same process, lengthening and softening. So we're really working to open up the shoulders and the upper back. Make sure you come up gently, particularly if you've got low blood pressure. So halfway house first, hands onto the hips, deep inhale, push through the feet. Up you come slowly, sort the hair out, wobble if necessary, exhale, you're done. Step back in and then you repeat again on the other side. 